Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, Bitcoin has uh, has been having a few interesting hours since uh, yesterday, since my previous video. And we are going directly to the charts just to check what's going on. Okay, so here we are at the price to time model. As usual, we start here to check where we are in the bigger picture, the long term uh, so let me zoom in to the current uh, ah. looks beautiful looks beautiful so this is what I expect from the exponential curve line I expect price not to go above that line and every time it goes above that line you see what happens we have a correction above correction above correction above correction so this will uh this will allow us uh, allow bitcoin's price action to uh, not having very 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 big and uh, unexpected corrections um as long as we don't cross this line to the upside in a very exponential move uh, I guess uh, the corrections will remain in these boundaries, so uh, nothing really spectacular, but uh, something we can expect or even look for, for a healthy and sustainable price. So, uh, as you know already, I for those that are not familiar with the price-to-time model, I can show you what happened. Uh, during the 2013 um, rise to the top as you can see here we uh, we crossed um, the line to the upside in a very very exponential move and that triggered the 75 percent correction that ended here and then we had a second rise to the top ending there um, this is not very healthy or sustainable because you know when you have a 75 percent uh, retracement in the price this uh, can you know scare a lot of people this can become uh, very a very exponential retracement luckily this time uh, bitcoin was so bullish that it rose to the top again in a second move and it achieved the top over there before the next bear market. Uh, if you analyze the 2017 um, move to the top, as we can see here, we never crossed, we never crossed the line to the upside. Then this was a very regular um, bull market, uh, by the way, because we never crossed the exponential line to the upside, and we also had the same kind of corrections we are uh, having now the same in you know amplitude so nothing really uh, scary like the 2013 market and we also had the uh, 20 period weekly moving average uh, supporting the price in many occasions this is one two three four and then after the fourth the fifth didn't uh, even touch the 20 uh, weeks moving average simple moving average and it rose directly to the top so uh, regarding the current price action i believe that this is very healthy this correction is what should have happened and it happened yesterday and it's still happening today and as you can see we are still far away from the 20 weeks moving average which gives us plenty of room for retracements and not even triggering any uh, signs of a potential bear market coming so i'm still very very bullish in this market long term of course as the price to time model already told me uh, which should be around $280,000 for the next stop, which I believe could happen between the end of the summer and the beginning of October this year. Okay, so let's go to the... Sorry, not this one. Let's go to the MRI and oscillators. Here we are in the monthly view. 
uh, no Elon Musk to <laughs> today, no Elon Musk to move the price. Uh, yesterday we had a small rise in the price because of a tweet. Yesterday or the day before that, I can't remember anymore, but I uh, I guess it was, we will see in the next chart, the daily chart or the four hour chart. So regarding the monthly, we are uh, retracing and this candle doesn't look so good anymore. The top of the candle is around here. Let me zoom for you guys. So this is the top of the candle. This is the retracement. So we are now below uh, half of that body. So the week is bigger than the body right now, which is not so good. We actually moved outside of these two red lines I plotted before which would be uh, like uh, sideways price action if we didn't have any uh, bigger moves to the upside or to the downside. Uh, my two white trend lines remain uh, the same, so nothing to discuss uh, regarding this. The RSI is continuing to go sideways, so it's not going up anymore. It's really turning to a neutral uh, sideways direction. Uh, probably we are going to have some kind of decay or neutral RSI for some time. The MACD is still bullish, but this one is lagging. The funding rate, BitMEX funding rate, we cannot see it here in this chart. And again, the Fisher distance from the EMA is also very, very extended, which means that we are um, getting away, um, you know, this is a deviation from the mean, which is becoming very, very high. So let's go to the weekly chart. The weekly chart uh, still not so bad, not so bad. Actually, this is a very, very good sign that the price is not going below this previous green candle over here. Uh, we are not even touching the trend line as we did here. We only touched this trend line when it started and in this candle here by the end of January. The second big retracement that we had never touched a trend line. The current retracement also didn't touch the trend line. Although we have some room here, some space. If the retracement comes back down, I would say that, you know, for me, the possible bottom for if this retracement would occur um, much bigger than we have right now, I could say that 47, 48 uh, thousand would be a nice level to support the price exactly around this top here and the trend line would also support it. However, as you can see, we still have lots of space, uh, lots of room here uh, to the 20 weeks moving average, which is the, the this green line but I'm not expecting the price to cross below this area of support, as you will see in the next chart. Uh, also, the RSI, as you can see, continues to have this uh, bearish divergence, the price going up, the RSI turning down. Um, the MACD right now is turning bearish. I will zoom in for you guys that are using phones and can see properly. So as you can see, the RSI is now getting into the normal area. The MACD, however, is turning bearish and is probably going to touch the orange line very soon. So let's see how this develops. Uh, However, the Fisher distance is getting into, on the weekly chart, of course, is getting into the zero line, which is the median here. Uh, so let's go to the daily. 
and now here we start to have something interesting that I plotted yesterday you remember I plotted this triangle this bearish triangle here uh, I forgot however to tell you that usually the rule is that if we break the down sides of the triangle then the uh, the price level that we could achieve is equal to the distance of this side so let's just out of curiosity see where this is possibly going uh, let me just put the line here aligned with the top now I will align oh sorry this will be impossible to do it like that uh, I'm just gonna use this one here so let me to the other side okay what's wrong with me today <laughs> everything being drawn like I shouldn't okay so this is our distance from that top to this bottom of the triangle here so let's just um, grab this put it there and here we go here we go exactly exactly the trend line so why is this okay so as you can see this uh, white uh, this white um, arrow here <coughs> sorry which gives us a 13.5 percent uh, decrease in the price which is the same as this distance here gives us exactly on top of the trend line if we by any chance would be um, touching this trend line yesterday so i guess today if we if the if the 50 period uh, moving average is not going to hold this price which i believe is a very very good support as you can see we have very good support here and here let me just again zoom in a bit for you guys here we are so we have the 50 period here the yellow line we have the price trying to cross to the downside and uh, in the meantime as uh, as i'm recording this video uh, the price just went up again so the 50 period is supporting the price in conjunction in you know at the same time as this support which was uh, resistance in the past this was resistance in the past this was resistant in the resistance in the past and now it's being support so we are being supported for this line here and from the 50 period moving average which is around 51 and a half I believe this is the price I just gave you guys yesterday that would be a very nice support for this break of the triangle okay let me just delete this we don't need it anymore so in the MRI we have uh, several indications here we have this MRI uh, support price the green dots around here which go exactly to touch the trend line I drew before in the weekly chart also this is the distance that I believe could be the maximum drop from the comparing to the side of the triangle so there are too many there are too many indications that this level the f the you know the 47 48 uh, could be the maximum drop that we could see right now for bitcoin okay the rsi is also uh, below the medium uh, let's see 40 so this is the mid so we are below we are already below the medium uh, line here on the RSI the MACD is bearish and still going down um, the funding rate on bitmax we can already see something here but it's not still accurate so I would not um, I would not try to see the percentage right now we will see it in a smaller time frame the Fisher distance is also reaching a very extended uh, level to the downside from the mean line so let's go to the four hour chart we have the triangle here much bigger 
just be before that, let me just take a look at the volume by price. I didn't exactly. Wow, this is another indication, a very good indication that we have a support line here around the 48,000, as I mentioned before. So we have this, uh, this whole area here of the volume by price um, is around the 48. The trend line is around the 48. The MRI support line is around the 48. And also the support line that was resistance in the past is around the 48. We have a lot of support on the 48K. So I believe this could be the maximum level for a possible bottom before we go up again and this could be the formation of our fourth range boundary okay so let's go to the four hours quickly i don't want to take too much time uh, for this video four hours so we broke the triangle here we are now we had the warning from the mri this is uh, the tweet from elon musk this rise to the top of the triangle i guess <laughs> elon musk is not uh, as i said yesterday is not so powerful anymore that he could break the triangle so we touched this side of the triangle in fact uh, I had some uh, some friends calling me about this possible this being a possible double bottom I said and they wanted uh, to ask my opinion about buying Bitcoin exactly around here 57k I said don't do it don't do it because I see this going back down and breaking the triangle so um, as we'll see in the pro framework pro indicators um, chart I will show you uh, the uh, why I, I believe this was the case not just because of all the signs we have from the MRI so we had you know if this candle if we didn't break the price here because of the triangle this candle here would be a 9 so this would be an MRI top and after that we would of course go down anyway we just broke sooner than expected so basically we broke the price we started to decline on the 8th which was the mri in, um, um, warning uh, so this was a bit earlier but anyway i was i was uh, i was i had a feeling in all the signs from yesterday that this was going to happen as you saw if you want to check that just check my previous video and you will see that i i mentioned that this would reverse the price action to the downside exactly here um, so the volume is now increasing on the four hours at least, but this is a negative volume. So uh, the bears are in control right now. The RSI, however, is reaching a very low point. So I believe we are close to uh, form, you know, a bottom here, probably with some reservation. I will say that probably we will not see uh, a lot more of downside. However, there's still room to go to the downside a bit more. So keep that in mind. Um, the MACD is also uh, still bearish. And finally, the funding rate. So this is one of the charts you can check the funding rate. The four hours is already good. The one hour is perfect. So the funding rate for BitMEX is around 0, 0, uh, 0.07. So that's the level on the right. So guys, if f sometimes I forget to zoom and uh, I also don't tell you the price levels that I'm watching or other indications here on the scale to the right. I'm sorry, but sometimes I just forget. So, uh, and the Fisher distance from the EMA is also going away from the mean line, which is the zero in the middle. So we are uh, we are overextending a bit this drop in the price. Uh, the resistance, uh, the support is becoming stronger. The bears are not so strong anymore as yesterday, as you can see here. Um, so let's hope we don't drop too much. And the 50K uh, supports the price. 
and I guess for the MRI that's it let me just check on the daily where are we regarding the numbers so we are on a 5 of 9 it's possible it's possible that if we continue to go a bit down but not so much as to you know cross this trend line to the downside we could have three more days of downside not so strong as these ones here but we could reach a nine by signal around the trend line around the mri support line and also all the supports i already described in this chart so let's just go to the one hour chart to have our bitmax funding rate checked whoa this is very low as you see the one hour chart is one of the uh, best time frames to check bitmax funding rates because you have more accuracy uh, the four hours is just you know the average between four different hours so this one gives you by the hour is very accurate and this is very low very very low indeed so we are at 0 0.01 right now which indicates that we could reach the bottom really soon because if we go to negative territory then i see the price going up uh, so this is uh, one of the indicators i like to uh, watch closely because it gives me a very good market sentiment and when the funding rate is negative uh, usually the price um, you know reverses and goes up and then if the opposite occurs when we are overextended in the bitmax funding rate usually the price action goes down so that's a very good market sentiment indication for me and you guys know that already so let's go quickly to the pro indicators um, pro framework so let me just give you guys this is a bit cluttered i will just zoom in a bit uh, we don't need that anymore because this was the trend line that was supporting the price inside the range as you can see I had this line plotted from the third second range boundary supporting the price there supporting there supporting again in two more points here and here and then here we had the first indication that this was becoming very very the bears were becoming very strong we crossed the trend line we went up again this was the uh, <laughs> the Elon Musk tweet it was not strong enough to hold the price we had a shooting star candle which was a very uh, bearish uh, signal or sign signal I guess and then we crossed the trend line to the downside and this was all fucked up <laughs> so there you are we are already below the medium line of the channel we however let me say this we however just got to the orange rectangle i had here for so long saying this would be an e a really area of interest for longs uh, my second rectangle i would call it a cherry on top price and if we get there this is definitely a buy the deep area I can tell you because I uh, this is uh, in zoom so you don't see the price on the right I can tell you that this uh, white line exactly in the exactly in the middle of that rectangle is 47,000 so this would be a buy the dip 100% definitely area and I believe that if we go there this will be exactly the formation of a fourth range boundary however we could stay inside this uh, area of interest the first one to uh, where the price got and we could have a fourth range boundary exactly here let me just check the price if this continues to be the minimum price action uh, 50,438 so this could be our next fourth range boundary um, however we still have room to go here this uh, orange 
this uh, small square orange square here indicates high volatility which is also a good indication that we could be potentially uh, seeing the formation of a fourth range boundary and from here going up however as i told you before we still have some room to the downside it's possible due to some volatility that we could reach that in a very long week and then just re uh, reverse the price action and go up so i'm very inclined to say that we are we are um uh, getting to a point where the fourth range boundary will be defined in a short term uh, deadline i would say in the next few days we should be uh, for sure maybe three four five days maximum we for sure we could have the uh, final point where the fourth range boundary could be formed um, if this is close to the bottom of this white uh, raging channel that would be perfect if it's not so close it would be almost perfect anyway this is a very good area uh, i would expect um, you know um, to go a very good area to go long here to um, I, I don't believe that we are going to cross this to the downside as I told you before we have very strong support around the 47 48 area which is there uh, exactly on the top of the bottom rect uh, rectangle and we are already seeing some very strong support here because the week is getting long so i would say we are very close to form a fourth range boundary and if that happens this is for sure uh, by the deep opportunity don't take this as advice i am not your financial advisor i just help you guys interpret the charts and think with your own brains so i'm not responsible for your decisions you should be responsible for your own decisions uh, never forget that I just give you you know some view of what we don't need this anymore by the way so let me just remove that uh, trend line over there um, however the bigger context the bigger context here is very bullish I still believe that we are going up I believe that if we form a fourth range boundary here this could be the start of a new trend up and my next target would be the 70 the lows uh, the low 70s and probably even the medium 70s maybe from 70 to 75 that would be uh, a target for sure uh, let me just check one last thing here so let's drop the fib my famous two color uh, Fibonacci whoa what's happening here oh Jesus my <laughs> okay yeah so we are still we are still uh, uh, some you know we are still a bit distant from the area of interest with which would be the cherry on top the bottom rectangle and the green area but i believe the support is becoming very strong the bears are losing some strength and we could possibly have a fourth range boundary around here or lesser probability you know in this second area which would be very good by the deep area okay so i guess that's it let me just stop the screen share and um don't forget if you enjoyed this content of course smash the the like button uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it done it yet and uh, share it with your friends okay so if something really extraordinary happens in the next few hours i will come back to you with another video and for now it's bye bye